Welcome to Cat's Cradle Forge. filing and filing and filing. I'm hand filing this whole thing so that it's like precision. And I got these pieces, the aluminum piece and the guard piece all shaped. I still got to do some grinding out of the rough parts inside of here. You'll see that later when I do some close-ups. Um, I got all these handle pieces to fit. This is shovel handle, very durable. This is something else in between for decoration. Right here, this is a piece of thick lawnmower blade, but I like it. It feels perfect when I hold it and when I wield it. It gives me way more leverage. So I'm not like stuck with a one-handed swipe. Much better. So it's still not like ugly. It's just long enough. It's gonna have a very brutal pummel on it. It's going to be peened, so you know how durable peened knives and swords are. They stick together. Well, anyway, the heat treating on this puppy is next. 
and finally the weather has warmed up enough where the ground isn't frozen solid like a brick and it's gonna be nice because this has to be quenched all the way in the full length of the blade we can't have like this dipping shit because it has to be it has to be all in at once and it has to just totally or it's not going to come out right like the hormone if there is any at all on the spring steel is not going to show up whatsoever if I don't get that clay and stuff right on there just the right thickness not too thick so that it leaks back and bleeds back in and ruins the hormone but not too little where the whole thing hardens and I can't really temper it back and it snaps tempering this is gonna I don't know if I can I think that's what the clay is for I think I reheat it and then not all the way but then quench it back in the water again and I think that actually will temper it but I'm not sure I've been watching so many Japanese swords making things with it just trying to see what they do because I don't know I know that the Japanese sword makers they're not using a, a heat treating oven there is no heat treating oven present it's just literally they temper it in the fire I think and then just give it a quick cool again and somehow that's enough I don't know but there's no real mathematical scientific way I'm going to be able to do this. I'm just going to literally have to wing it with some uh, old school watching and mimicking the Japanese guys. Well, anyway, here's some close-ups of this. This, this. this is how far we are on this project. Just giving you an update. It's an update video. Enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching Cat's Cradle Forge, and here's some real good close-ups of all little pieces.